Here's three reasons why you can't aim for the perfect body. Before we get into this one, obviously, if you're liking the content that's coming your way, please do like, subscribe, comment. It's gonna help the channel grow. That's what I'm here for, to help as many people as I can to get as healthy as they can be. So please do do that for me. Do do, haha. <laughs> anyway, let's get into this one. So people often, when they are feeling a bit shit about themselves or embarrassed of their weight, they hate looking in the mirror, it makes them cry, it makes them upset. What they will do is focus on somebody else's body, yeah? Or the perfect body for them in their eyes. Now, that is a quick fire way for you never to make progress. If you're aiming for perfection, you will never get it. And this is clear as day, easy, spelled out for you why that is. First of all, if you're aiming for the perfect body, perfectionism, what that does is creates procrastination. So you've, you've idolized this perfect image in your head of what your body wants to look like, how you wanna look, how you're gonna feel when you look that way. But unfortunately, because that seems so far off of where you are now or where you perceive yourself to be now, you're gonna procrastinate on starting because you're gonna see the task as being too hard to get to. So don't look to be perfect because that is never gonna be attainable because your image, you're always gonna want more, 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 and you're never gonna attain that. So just aim to be a little bit better than yesterday. That is the best way to improve your physique. Rather than looking at the perfect image, the, just be better than yesterday. 1% better as they always say. Second reason perfectionism is shy is because, and I mentioned it briefly there, you're always gonna feel a million miles away from your goal. Whereas let's say you want to lose in a perfect world, 10 kilograms, which is a lot of weight. When you lose one kilogram, you're not gonna think I'm 10% of the way there. You're gonna think, for fuck's sake, I've got nine kilograms to go. And that is gonna be demotivating. And you're not going to feel any sense of accomplishment and achievement along the way of your journey of becoming a healthier person. So what you need to do is aim for progress. When you get to a kilo, losing a kilo I should say, celebrate it, two kilos, celebrate it. Because again, you're 10%, 20%, 30%, 40% of the way there. You're knocking down these goals and targets and you're celebrating them on the way. So you're getting absolute joy from doing it. There is a saying in fitness that you can't lose 10 kilos without losing the first. So keep that mentality. And finally, a reason why perfectionism is gonna be an absolute disaster for you if you're trying to build the body of your dreams, unfortunately, there is always gonna be somebody out there with a better body than you. So if you're looking for the perfect body, you might be scrolling on TikTok, Instagram, through these influencers that you absolutely love, and you think, oh my God, their body is fantastic. They probably touched it up, face tune, all that bollocks, but, you're always gonna perceive their body to be better than yours. So if you're aiming for the perfect body, you're always gonna to compare to someone else's body that you see as perfect. And then you're gonna pick faults in yourself, which again, mentally, that's not a good place to be in. Yeah, comparison's the thief of joy. And ultimately, you could have the best body that you've ever lived in, in your life, and still think that it's shit. And you don't want that. So that's three reasons why perfectionism is an absolute waste of time. A saying that I love is aim for progress, not perfection, because again, if you're progressing, it doesn't matter how slow that is, slow progress is still progress, yeah? And sometimes you need to go slow to go fast. If you found this video useful, make sure you are liked, subscribed, and following, and I will catch you in the next one.